we respect positions. We respect positions, not personalities. It doesn't matter who's standing behind the desk as the judge. The fact that they are the judge, when he walks into the room, we are told what? Stand and rise. All rise. All rise. For who? Do we even know his name? Do we know his background, his credentials, his or her credibility? We don't know anything about that person. But the fact that the country has given them the position of what? Wearing that black gown and becoming the judge, that position in itself demands respect. When they walk in, we rise. When he points at us, we fall and we sit down. It's positions. It's not personalities. It's positions. It doesn't matter who's standing on the Imam's spot. The fact that he has been given that position is enough for us to have to respect them. It doesn't matter what our parents do in life. They may be the most sinful people that are living on earth. It doesn't matter. The position is what demands respect, not the personality. Personalities will change. Personalities will differ. But the position always remains the same. The position that we respect is the position of the mother. The position that we respect, regardless of how it's being implemented or carried out, is the position of the father.